you learned anything new since uh, you got that first notification? Yes. Uh, so I have been in contact with uh, lawyers representing Google, and they have. Uh, I've been asking them a whole series of questions and asking for documents from them, and uh, they've provided me the um, notifications that they got from the from the court signed by magistrate judges uh, uh, for that uh, for five of that six years. So there's the initial request that uh, these are non-disclosure orders. These are orders right. from the court that says to Google, you're not allowed to tell Jason or anybody else, any of his Democrat and Republican colleagues whose information, whose, whose phone records and, and uh, text records you saw, you're not allowed to tell them that we subpoenaed those records or that you gave them up. That, that was in the initial request. It was for a one-year time frame. And then they renewed it every year in September or August of every year for the next five years. Unbelievable. So the which raises the question, the thing that they were ostensibly investigating, I believe, from the circumstances was the leak of the Car the Carter Page FISA application right. before it had been declassified and made public. It was reported in some press in April of 2017. Um, and they essentially they seem to have been go going after every congressional staffer or member of Congress who had access to that from the Justice Department um, without any belief, you know, without any other basis that they had leaked it. So. Yeah. Um, the question is, you know, the, they charged a uh, um, the head of Senate security, uh, the head of security for the Senate Intel Committee, with lying about his relationship with a reporter, in and he pled guilty in like 2018. So why, after that occurred, which appears to be related to this investigation, why after that occurred would they still be trying to keep the order for my records and my other co Democrat and Republican colleagues' records secret? after the case is already over. Yeah. That's the question that I am urging authorities on the Hill and the inspector general to look into now, because I have copies of these orders. I know what the timing was. It was in both administrations. It was the Republican, it was during the Trump administration and during the Biden administration where they asked for renewals for a, you know another, give us another year, Google, before you tell your customer that we got their records. Um, and the there cannot be and, and the basis that they cite, the standard under the statute is, you know, that the records might be destroyed uh, if you right. let the person know. Well, they already had my records from 2017. Google That's gave right. them the records. So there's no way right. in 2020 I could have destroyed them. And you weren't so, even working for Congress then, right? You couldn't have any records. You're out of Congress. No, exactly. And and, and they already had my records. So so it, it seems and th so there's no I don't believe there's there can possibly be any any factual basis that they gave to the court that would suggest that me or any of the other recipient, you know, any of the other people's records who were taken had any ability to destroy anything or there was no legitimate reason to keep it secret. I think they just wanted to hide the broad nature of the dragnet for communications from uh, senator senators staff and congressmen staff.